Hi, so sorry about this video, uh, a bit late and not going to be the most in detail. Doing a stage race at the moment, so a bit battered after the day. But alas, videos need to be made. History was broken today, which was the hour record. Now, Dan Begum did 55.5 kilometers um, in the hour. Obviously, very impressive. So the question is, he hasn't uploaded the sort of numbers, is how many numbers did he did? did he do now i wanted to upload this power before because i was it basically proved that he was going to break it unfortunately uh i can't remember what happened yesterday anyway i i don't think i was busy i think i was just lazy and i didn't make this video but anyway this was his last track session on tuesday the 16th of august he hasn't posted the hour record surprise surprise now assuming these aren't pet motor pace which i don't think they are because i think the power would be less we can see sort of the number so this is a good 15 minute effort, so 15 and a half minutes. Um, the distance, I guess, must be what they're going off. But anyway, you know, a quarter of the effort, he does 317 watts and averages 54 kilometers an hour. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is pretty mental. Like, that is, that is good. I mean, obviously the track, you've got generally do less power because of the banking and also obviously the fixed gear changes it as well better mechanical efficiency but that is ridiculous like like 317 54 k an hour he is stupidly error like he's like probably got the aerodynamics of like an average 50 kilo you know donkey who's riding their tt by like maybe maybe better um you can see some of these other efforts he sort of does rolling ones Again, this is like 315, 54k an hour. Um, and he sort of does these efforts that are like about five, six minutes long. So you can see like from this, it's pretty, pretty impressive. Uh, what can you gain from the heart rate? Well, again, hard to say without knowing what the max is, but it looks pretty stable, doesn't it? Like it doesn't look like, you know, this would be a max effort. So, you know, I, I would have to say that this is probably in his best equipment that he's not like, you know, oh, he's doing 54k and out 317, but then he's got more to go. No, no, no. I think this is his, you know, top equipment. And this, I think, is sort of the numbers we're looking at, maybe 330 to 340. You think this is 55 kilometers an hour that he's done for 330 watts. So my prediction would be, you know, half a kilometer an hour faster. What do you think? 510 watts? Probably something like that. Maybe a bit more, maybe a bit less, but I'd say my prediction would be about 340 watts for the hour record, which is low, not at altitude. Like, you know, if it was Aguas Calientes, 2,000 meters or whatever, or 1,500 meters, whatever it is, fair. But this is Grinch and this is 500 meters. So again, very interesting numbers. I think it goes to prove that, you know, he he is the most aerodynamic human in modern history, probably. Um, and that his hour record will be very hard to beat because, you know, physiologically, you sort of look at it without looking at the speed, you go, okay, 4.6 watts per kilo for an hour. That's, you know, a lot of people can do that. But in terms of the CDA he's, he's putting out is it is bonkers. Um, so you can see this was the effort here towards the end, I think, where he did, uh, sort of did an actual proper start 700 watts and then just into it. Um, and you know, that is very 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 impressive so yeah dan bigham 340 watts for 55 and a half kilometers an hour that's pretty that's pretty mental um the other news today was obviously the team time trial in la vuelta now this was a bit disappointing i'm not gonna lie in terms of numbers uh ineos came second to yumbo yumbo put did a good time ineos did a good time quick did a good time and so the bike exchange, everyone else was like, you know, fair enough, we can get, we can get the old statistics up. You know, there was no real shocks, to be honest, like, you know, 30 seconds, neither here nor there. I'd say FDJ did a good one, Movistar did probably better than expected, only 43 seconds. Same with Astana, Trexec Afredo, again, not bad either. Um, yeah, I mean, AG to our minute isn't great, keep Fana. People had a shocker with EF. EF were horrendous, a minute and 20 down, you know, couldn't crack 54k an hour, you know, this bloke, Jonathan Valters, he was banging on and on and on about how impressive their time trial setup was after they, like, won the t the time trial, like, GC in the UAE tour, but, mate, like, it's terrible, like, like there was gaps in their line, it was just carnage, 
Um, you know, Arkea Samsic probably lost a lot of motivation without Niederman. Why are they going hard for the for the team time trial? But luckily, I guess Niederman wasn't there. These people, like, literally, what's the point? Like, okay, I mean, Mikey is like, he must be just be like, boys, can we just not lose a minute and a half on TT on this team time trial? We're going to lose nine minutes on the time trial anyway, so would have been appreciative probably if he didn't lose that much. Burgos, BH, I mean, you know, they're on some t BH bikes with, like, you know, there's no point in these people competing. They've got terrible equipment. You know, it's just like, it's irrelevant what they do. They're on terrible equipment. The only people who really have less excuses when they're on decent equipment and they just don't try. Um, but actually, all these people on top equipment and tried pretty hard. Standout ride, definitely keep a fun, keep a fun, uh, Kern Farmer. Outrageous ride. Um, anyway, we'll, we'll look into some numbers here. Uh, I made this Strava segment. Oh, no, where did I make this Strava segment? Um, yes, this is the Strava segment I made. Uh, it's got pretty much everyone average about 57 kilometers an hour. I sort of, you know, obviously take a little bit off the, the start and finish. So, you know, you get more of an actual speed. That lad is quick. Now, Sepkus was on the back the whole time. I reckon he's got told he can't post his power because he normally posts his power. Might turn us in the same car Carapaz. Yeah, sometimes does Sivakov. No, Van Wilder used to. Kivan, you know. So we've only really got Caden Groves, who's, what, like 30 seconds down. Now, Caden Groves' numbers are interesting. He has some very big numbers, actually. As a sprinter, his threshold is high. Um, there's, there's no doubting about that. Um, apparently he's only a cat one according to that performance. So a bit, bit rough for the world tour, man. <laughs> um, but anyway, it's choppy. That's the first thing I'd say when you look at this power data, it's very, very choppy. Um, like a lot of corners, but obviously you can see that here, you know, it's, uh, an out and back leg there, lefts and rights, but, but sort of to the point of like, like you have to zoom in more to realize how many there are, you know, it's like left hander, right hander, left hander, then this little chicane around here. And then it, it, like, you know, there are some long sort of stretches where you can really get the power down, but then that's a right-hander into a left-hander. This roundabout was where Yates almost crashed because it was super wet. Like, you know, it's a it's a super technical course. And this, they go up and do an out and back. That loses a lot of speed. The second half of the, the course uh, seemed quicker. Um, you know, this second course, 57 kilometers an hour, you can see uh, maybe the wind had something to play with, but I, I would say it's more actually just because these corners are pretty fast. It's 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 sort of hard to see, but these were quite wide roads. You could really rail it. Um, they sort of went back on themselves um, here. And then, um, yeah, this bit was all, was all pretty quick, especially the finish. Actually, the last the last kilometer seemed pretty, pretty 60 K an hour. Uh, this bit here, you know, they're going, they're going 66 K an hour. It's, it's pretty impressive. So again, you can see it. It's not a, an obvious, okay, where did Caden Gro Groves do his power? Um, generally on these team time trials, I tend to find they do about 40 seconds on. So you can see here, this is a 30 second turn at 500 Watts, which in the TT position, yeah, you, you hooking along pretty quick again here, 570 Watts. But what's hard to tell is that often these are these are punctuated by coming out of turn. So it's hard to figure out exactly like, you know, where is this his turn? Is this not his turn? Um, th this is sort of in the line you can see 427 watts is sort of very surgy. I guess that's because they're going up to speed out of the corner. Um, you can see towards the end, like this bit here is looks looks pretty grim. This is like 418 watts on the wheel. And then you can see then does a big, big turn here, uh, which was about 730 watts. Um, and you can tell this is actually a turn because um, you can see he backs off and then spikes up again. And you'll find that different riders ride this differently. If he was more of a time trialist, he probably would have ridden at like 350, 400 to get back on. But because he's got big sprinter, he prefers to have the rest, you know, let the creatine phosphate stores come back and then whack the thousand watts um, in order to get back up to speed. So it's interesting how they actually ride it um, as an individual uh, in a team time trial. This is again, 500 watts for 40 seconds. It's... Um, yeah, it, it's pretty impressive stuff, to be honest. This, um, it, it is it is strong power from Caden Groves. Um, and, you know, he's one of those people I would expect to be very good at the team time trial based on his physiology, from his sprinting and from everything else. Um, if we sort of look at Yumbo here, you can see this last part. I mean, it's like 60K an hour. Like, I reckon this second half is like pretty, pretty quick, to be honest. That's got the, the end of it. But yeah, like 58K an hour is, is pretty, pretty crazy. Um, again, like... Without the power data, you, you can see, I guess, a bit more when they stop pedaling just because the corners. But again, it, it was a very impressive ride by Jumbo Visma. Even this first part, they're really raiding. I do think they had an advantage because uh, it wasn't as wet on the ground. Um, Sepkus was, again, as I said, sitting on. 
He's lost some weight. He's 61. He used to be 63. Uh, ben Turner, again, like, you know, this is, um, there's not too much else. What's interesting is, like, if we look at, like, Juan Pe Lopez. So he is small, right? And Trek did a good time for him. He did 330 normalized, which is, what, like, six watts per kilo um, if you're 55 kilos. So, like, pretty impressive on the TT bike. Like, yeah, you know, six for six for 25 on the TT bike is impressive. But, you know, it, what's more impressive, I think, is his ability to stay on this bunch on this group, sorry, you know, averaging 55k an hour, like, down here, you know, I guess he's getting a good draft, how many turns do you do on the front, I'm not 100% sure, um, but I reckon, like, you know, that probably is a turn on the front, but this first part here, I reckon, was, um, was pretty grim for him, because, uh, it's just so, like, up and down, you can see he's doing these 600 watt surges, so, it, again, it, I think with the team time trial, it's also interesting to see how the smaller riders can behave, or sort of can perform uh, with very big riders like Dan Hool and all the rest of it. Like this bloke here, he's like two meters tall. Juan Bay Lopez, he was getting taking the piss out for being one meter seventy, which is actually my height. Well, I'm not very small, apparently. I thought, but apparently maybe I am. Um, but yeah, like he is a pretty impressive ride from Juan Pei to not lose too much time. Uh, big fan of the man. He's really got a bit of personality. Um, so anyway, that's my thoughts of the day for the team time trial as well as the hour record for Dan Bigham. And um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.